Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be covering digital note taking, which is what I do on my iPad for all of my classes in college. Um, I did an IGTV video on this, which I've linked below if you want to check that out, but I thought in this video I could cover everything in a lot more detail. I also thought this would be a fun thing to do in quarantine if you want to improve your handwriting or learn a new skill or prepare for college if you're going next year. I thought this would be helpful, so let's get into it. Starting with equipment, I use an iPad Pro first generation. Um, I bought this one refurbished on Amazon, which is a great way to save money if you want to get a tablet for a school, but you don't want to spend full price. Um, I just have a simple plastic cover on it. It's just a plastic bendable one, but when I'm at school, I have one that covers the screen as well so it doesn't get cracked in my bag. I use the Apple Pencil because of the pressure sensitivity that comes with it. And I have this little plastic grip on it, which was about a dollar I got on Amazon. And I actually did lose the original cap, so I have this replacement one. There are um, newer and better versions of both of these products. There's new iPad Pros and an Apple Pencil 2. However, both of these work just fine for note taking and all the art that I do. Um, and they're also a great deal cheaper. So if you're looking to do a tablet for college instead of a laptop or with a laptop, this is a great option. So there are a couple reasons why digital note taking is better, at least for me, than physical note taking. For one, you don't have to buy notebooks anymore. You just purchase the app one time for $10, which is just the price of like two or three notebooks, and then you never have to buy a notebook again. So you end up saving a lot of money in the long run. Um, also just because there's a lot of cool features that the app has, like importing photos, and you can um, search words if you have an open book test or if you're studying for something that's super helpful There's also just the ease of having everything in one place You have all your notebooks and one app So if you're traveling you can just take your iPad with you and you'll have everything that you need So let's get right down to note-taking So here I've opened the app GoodNotes and I'm just showing you my notebooks There are a number of ways you can customize them if you decide to create your own You can make folders like I just showed here and when you go to create a notebook, there are tons of options for different paper designs. Um, there's even music paper and planning paper if you want to do a digital planner. And you can also change the languages, the orientation, and the cover. Once you open up your notebook, there is a bar across the top with a bunch of different tools. There's the ball pen or brush pen or fountain pen tool. You can switch between them. I personally like to use the ball pen. I just like how it feels the most but a lot of people use the fountain pen and others use the brush pen for titles, which I'll show you a little bit later. So the first squiggle was the ball pen, then I did the brush pen, and this is what the fountain pen looks like. Next up is the eraser tool. You can change the size of it, and there are also some options like erase highlighter only, which I'll show you how to utilize later. Next is the highlighter tool. I like to change the colors to match the title, as you can see here. So I'm usually changing those colors, but as you can see, you can layer on highlighter to make the color deeper and more opaque. Next is the shape tool, which will help smooth out all your lines and create perfect shapes. You can do rectangles, circles, um, organic shapes, and also lines. Next is the lasso tool, which allows you to draw a shape around any words, images, or highlighter and move it around the page. This is super helpful if you're going to reorganize your notes. After that, we have two camera options, importing an image from your camera roll and taking an image. And then lastly, we have the text tool, which just allows you to add normal text and there are lots of options for the color, boldness, italicization, etc. So now I'm gonna be talking about how I physically organize my notes and it differs depending on whether I'm taking notes from a textbook or from a lecture. At the top in the big cursive or the fancy title, I put the lecture topic or the chapter name. And I do this because I can add the pages to the outline and easily find topics when I'm studying for a test. So whenever you move to a new topic, make sure you add a new page so you can add it to the outline. For these little subheadings, I just like to do usually like the background and then split up everything as the lecture is split up. So like the title of the PowerPoint slide or of the subsection in the textbook is usually what goes up there. And then I also put all the key terms in highlighter as well, which allows me to add them to note cards or Quizlet or something and just see them a lot easier. I also like to use lists and numbered lists whenever possible because it makes the notes more visually appealing and easy on the eyes. For aesthetic purposes, I usually like to draw any tables or graphics in the app itself. 
but if they're super complicated, I'll just put in an image from the PowerPoint or something. Um, now I'm just going to scroll through so you can see a couple different ways that I set up my lecture notes. Now, moving on, I'm going to be showing a couple of ways that you can do titles. So the first way that I like to do a title is to draw the title in the highlighter and then I surround it in lots of little scribbles. And what this allows you to do is go to the eraser tool afterwards and select the erase highlighter only option and then you're left with the blank parts where the highlighter used to be so you kind of make a shape out of drawings. And this one isn't super detailed but I'm going to show a version where I did lots of tiny little flowers and it comes out super cute. Now I'm just erasing it, and this is what the title looks like when I actually put a lot of time into it. Obviously it's a lot more detailed. The next title we're going to be doing is just a simple little outline. It's the same concept, but instead of drawing the shapes around the highlighter, you just use the colored pen to do it. And it's just an easy way to make sure your outline letters look much better and neater. So the next title method I don't personally like to use because I kind of hate the brush pen on GoodNotes, but basically the brush pen allows you to do calligraphy because it's super pressure sensitive. So when you do downstrokes, you can get a nice thick letter, while you do upstrokes, you can get a super thin stroke, which can create a calligraphy look. If I'm feeling super extra, the way I create my titles is using the app Procreate, which is about $10, I believe, in the App Store. I use it for all of my artwork, so obviously paying for it was worth it. But basically, I just write it with the brush pens in Good or in Procreate, and I add little details like drop shadows and highlights, and I just save that as a transparent PNG so the background doesn't exist. And I just upload it as an image into GoodNotes. As you can see, I'm doing that right here. So here is the title. Probably one of the biggest questions I get is how do I make my notes so neat? So the answer to that is actually just writing slowly and zooming in. There is this tool here that allows you to zoom in and also see the document as a whole, but I prefer to just turn my iPad sideways like this and then zoom in manually on the page. There isn't really a difference, I just like how this feels better. And in class, if the teacher is speaking really quickly, I will do my best to write down the information, but I know I can always go back, use the lasso tool to reorganize everything, or I can just rewrite the notes themselves. And here I was just showing you that when you zoom in, your handwriting is a whole lot neater. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. Comment below if you have any more questions about good notes, taking notes, or anything with college. Um, I'd love to answer them. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.